What's going on everyone and welcome back. I'm here with Oliver today and we're gonna do uh, some Japanese booster packs. These are matchless fighters, which is the equivalent of battle styles. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so there's 10 packs in here. Uh, I just want to give the seller a shout out. We bought from him on eBay um, named TYXPX. So go check out his shop. Really nice of him. Um, got the 10 packs and then he also included a couple cards here that Oliver is gonna talk about. Um, this is a Galarian Stunfisk V. Uh, it was in the, um, I'm not sure what the Japanese name is, however, the English name for the set is Darkness Ablaze. Okay. I believe the third Sword and Shield pack to be released. Okay. And then this one is actually from Matchless Fighters, the Falapo VMAX full art. Yeah, so pretty nice of him to just give us a couple of cards um, along with our purchase of the 10 packs. So again, seller named TYXPX. Oliver's going to open up this package. He's going to give us five packs each. We'll see who comes out on top with the pack battle of Japanese matchless fighters. And Oliver, we think that there's five cards per pack. Is that correct? Um, I am not 100% sure. However, okay. I'm, I'm just guessing because it kind of feels like that. And there's a bunch of fives on the top. All right. I do not see Japanese. One for me, one for you. Oh, you can just put them right here. There you go. Uh, what, uh, what card are we hoping to get, Jake? Um, you know, I took a quick peek at the set. I really like the Hyper Rare Rainbow Full Art Trainers, but there is a Gold Snorlax in here, which looks kind of cool. So why don't you start us off, and if there's a card trick, which, flipping the cards, what did we think it was? One card? Uh, it was one card that goes from the back to the front, I believe. All right, well, let's check it out. We'll learn as we go. You go first. really cool because I've actually never opened up a Japanese product before. I've opened products with a few Japanese cards in it and a few products with Japanese items in general, but never like packs. All right. So one thing that we noticed right away is the backs are a little different on these cards. Mm -hmm. uh, they actually change um, while the English version of the back was always the same. So did you, yep. so, so we take one from mm -hmm. the back to the front, okay. Yeah. While the Japanese backs, I mean, while the English backs are always the same for the American versions, um, the Japanese ones actually changed. Okay, and I kind of so like the back of those. We have a, a Kakuna. Yeah. Um, oh, I can't remember this one, it's like Petal something. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure either. <laughs> a Scraggy. Yeah, we are not Scraggy. Oh. I, I can't remember, I forgot what this one was, uh, wasn't it? It started with a P. I mean, no. No, that was the original. Yeah, yeah and there's a little Sabo there. Um, this was one of the characters you'd meet in Sword and Shield. I'm okay. not sure who it is. And it should be a good card, right? Oh, was that the rare? Um, or does it not work like that <laughs> in Japan? It doesn't look like it's worked like that. It kind of oh. reminds me of okay. the uh, Dollar Tree pack. You weren't always guaranteed. You weren't even guaranteed a reverse. They actually. Gotcha. So we've done, obviously, no research on this, how this works. We just decided that we wanted to open some Japanese stuff. So you took one from this one right here? Mm -hmm. And put it in the front. In the front? Okay. Well, we do know that the U on these means uncommon. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Steamy, common, and rare. Maybe okay. Also an ultra rare. So here's a common. That's the one that you just got as well. Mm -hmm. Here's another common. Do you know who this is? Okay, no worries. All right, so that was my first pack, and unlike American packs, you're just not guaranteed a rare or a reverse. So this is a little different, which is okay. We're just kind of checking something new out. Mm -hmm. So neither of us have got a hit so far. So. Yeah. Um, something nice about Japanese cards, however, they're usually cheaper than the English packs, especially the booster boxes, because booster boxes come with less packs, and each pack comes with less cards. Got it. Yeah, I think these ended up being a, a little bit over $2 a pack. So you get less cards, they're a little cheaper. Okay. All right, let's see what happens. First up, we have a... I, I remember, I forgot this one, but it was actually... One of my very first Pokemon cards was of this Pokemon. Right. Um, Delibird, I remember that one. Uh, that That's a new one. I, Never, I haven't followed up on any of the new Sword and Shield Pokemon, so I can't remember that one. Oh, there's something good coming up. Yeah. 
but that was the last one that I used like this. Um, this one, I, I can't remember what this was, but I remember in one of the older X and Y sets, it evolved from a dual, t- I mean, it evolved into a dual type. Okay, all and right. And a hollow um, thunderous. Thunderous, okay, so it says R in the corner. Do you want to pull it up to the camera a little bit closer? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and sleeve it up. So the Japanese ones, they have hollow around the edges too, huh? Yeah. Ooh, it's gonna, that might, that little... might be the sleeve actually. Yeah, that's the sleeve. Oh, okay. Cool looking card. I do like the, how the Japanese puts a letter in the bottom for rare, common, uncommon. You want to put that on a stand? There you go. All right. On to my second pack. Let's see what happens. So no guarantees of rares. Uh, Although I believe in some wait. packs you were like guaranteed an ultra rare better. Okay. So I don't here. think this, I'm guessing this isn't one of it. Not sure who that is. Uh, I believe that's probably one of it, but I doubt it. No, it's not. That one's... Oh, and we, I would assume that that's going to be a drill, huh? Yeah, I kind of like the way that these look. I like how they do the hollow on the edges. That's pretty neat. Mm-hmm. That, that's probably one of the cooler hollows, actually. And just in my opinion. I remember uh, we were open, we used to open up a bunch of evolution packs, and we yeah. kept getting Beedrills. A lot of Beedrill. This is the coolest looking Beedrill I've seen. Maybe we'll put them over here on a stand just for now until something better knocks them off. It's the only Beedrill that I've liked so far. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. All right, let's get a big hit. Maybe I'm, a not, card. I'm not used to having to open it from the bottom because they have the giant hole in the in the top. I remember in the oh, now they have blister packs, so that way you can't. That way it's not. Uh, but so that way it's a bit harder to open up the pack. But I remember in the original ones they had the hole in the top. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. All right. Right. I think so. Yeah. Did so um, you do the one card thing? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, okay. I can't remember what this one was called, but I remember. Is that like Scraggy or? No, it, it was Scraggy's Evolution. I remember oh. that. Uh, Woobat, I believe, is that one. Yeah, that one we're still not sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's that one again. I think it's like, I think it's like the I'm not sure. Oh, okay. This one, I, I can't remember what it is, but apparently it can like smell really things <laughs> from like really far away really well. That was the last one. Yep. All right. Yeah, these packs go a lot quicker. All right. Still looking for a big hit of sorts. So one to the front. Uh, that's Intellion? No, that's its evolution. Well, that's Sobble, right? Mm-hmm. Pretty sure Intellion's final evolution. Yeah, I don't remember. The artwork is really cool on these. And here's the common and last card. Oh! No, so that's Intellion, probably, right? Yeah. Alright. Hollow starter, which I think the hollow final evolutions of starters are usually actually some of the more rarer ones. Interesting. I think it's usually the fire one though. Surprising. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. And we'll just put them on top of B drill or something. There we go. Alright. So this is pack number four. Mm-hmm. Right. I hope we pull a ultra rare. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Mm-hmm. The hollows look cool, but the ultra rare would be cool. Okay, so, and that one again, man, it's so much harder opening these when you have no idea what the names are. Yeah. Uh, that one, I believe, is Lantern. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, Ooh, I saw something. Venipede, I believe. Uh, Delibird. Ooh, and is that? That's a Galarian Pokemon. I can't, I can't remember. It was like Galarian Cofagrigus or something like that. Oh, okay. To me, it looked like Stone Jorner or something like that, but... All right, so we both got two hollows so far. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm on to pack number four. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Right. Show it off. I haven't been really doing that. Okay, one card, here we go. Let's get something good. I that Is that was, like... I believe that was Sniper. Last card coming up. Oh, this is Tentacle. This is an original one, right? Yeah. That was Swoobat. Yeah, alright. Okay, last packs. Here we go. Probably 
one of the coolest things I have ever opened. Yeah, these are pretty fun, but they definitely go much quicker. Yep. You get less cards, but that's okay. Okay. <laughs> Not really opening. If you're trying to open them fast, it ends up becoming slower. So we both are at two hollows, so we're pretty neck and neck as far as the pack battle go. Uh, can't remember what that one is, but I'm guessing it involves with porn. Probably. Uh, can't remember that one as well. Weedle, that one's definitely an original. <laughs> Uh, I think it's like Boulder, Boulder okay. or something like that, I'm not sure. Doug Trio, that Doug one's Trio. also an original, and... That was the last one. Yep. Alright, here's my last pack. So no guaranteed rares. Definitely different. Uh, I think all, I, I think that a rare is either a hollow or an un or a reverse, actually. I think we're able to get a little rare. Interesting. Okay. Whatever that is. It's like Middle Cancer or something. Yeah. Okay, here comes my last card. There's Sobble. And I'm not sure what that is. All right, so just a quick recap. We opened five packs each. Uh, myself, I ended up with these two hollows. All right, not bad. Pretty cool looking. And Oliver, what did you end up with? I ended up with these two hollows. Remember, this one I believe is either a legendary or a mythical, so that's kind of cool. Okay. Do you have any last comments before we call it a day? was a fun experience it was pretty fun so let us know in the comments who won the pack battle i think it's pretty even i think it would just kind of come down to what artwork you prefer thanks for stopping by and checking out our channel if you like what you saw give us a like and a subscribe and we'll probably be back soon with some more videos here shortly thanks again